So I'm wearing a t-shirt right now, and uh, the problem with that is the graphic in the center of the t-shirt that takes up most of it is green, and I use a green screen. So, uh... At least y'all can kind of see what the shortcuts are this time, or if I put it over here, you can see what my health is. Hey, you know what? Actually, that's meta. Think about it, because my heart is right here in real life, and this is my- these are my hearts. Tell me I'm not genius, man. Come on. Yo, what's going on, everybody? My name is Tisa Brandon. Welcome back to another episode of Satisfactory. I haven't done a lot off camera. The one thing that I did do was something that was requested off the last episode, and that is don't put leaves into the damn biomass burner. Change it into actual biomass because it's insanely cheap. It's like six leaves or three for like six biomass or something. Uh, it's something insane. You get a lot for each leaf, and uh, it makes it run a lot longer. So, we've got a ton of biomass, some wood, some grass, whatever. But these guys are working. Now, I haven't been AFKing here properly like I should have been. So, we only have, what is that, 400 iron and nearly about 350 copper. It's not bad, but hey, I mean, this is our first little journey into um, automation. It feels good. I, uh, uh, just an interesting thought. This is a grindy game. I'm going to have to prepare for a lot of grinding, but... If you grind up enough, whatever you're grinding just becomes an automatic process. Like, today what I want to do is get the miners hooked up, the automatic ones, and get that transported so I never have to go mining for iron ever again. It's a cool concept for a game. Let's get into it. Somebody does irk me about the game is that while I found the conveyor belts to be cool that it brings you along with it, it's not consistent. You go at the same pace through the conveyor belt, whether it's moving or not. I wish it was a bit more hyper-realistic, because that'd be damn nice. But I guess for teleportation, or transportation, rather, it's uh, better this way. I don't know. It's just these aren't moving that fast, but I go flying through it. It's not really something I'm happy about. After the last episode with the ma'am shooting itself up in the sky, y'all are really excited for me to try out the space elevator, which we learned back in Tier 0. Hub upgrade 5, this guy right over here. I don't know exactly what it does, but we'll find out at a later date. That was from Hub Upgrade 5. This is from Hub Upgrade 4, the Miner MK1. Now, I love having these little portable dudes down here. They're nice, but it's very basic and light work. They don't cost a lot, and they're not automatic. The whole point of the game is to make everything automatic so I don't even have to lift the finger. And trust me, it is easy as hell to just simply go over to here grab a hundred, come back this way. Now see, look at that, I'm even having trouble jumping up. That's why we don't want to do it this way. We got 400, we got plenty of ingots to be able to make some stuff. Let's see what we need here. Portable miner, that's not what we need. Where's the portable miner? Or rather the uh, MK1, here we go. So we need one. Oh, you use a portable miner to make it. And wow, that is absurdly cheap. What? Wait, those are insanely cheap. What are you talking about? Five iron rod and five concretes. Wow. Okay, well, why don't we in that case take all of the portable miners that we have right now and just change them into what we need? So let's pick them up and uh, get building on six, I guess. We'll just start out with the copper and iron for right now. I know there's limestone near us, but we don't have limestone functionality for our smelter quite yet. So soon. Not yet, but soon. Okay, I've got plenty to be able to make these guys now, so let's take a look. Miner MK1. That's very large. Also seems to be locked in place as well, too. Oh, I can only have two. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, I get it. All right. Well, let's have you pointed that way. Very cool. And let's have you pointed that way as well. Might as well have the conveyor belts pointed in the direction we need them to go for right the time being. Right the time being. Good speech, Brandon. These guys are huge, by the way. Holy shit. Hello. Configure minor MK1. Okay. 30 per minute. That's every... Okay. Every two seconds. Five watts. Okay. That's not too bad. Well, let's uh, get that going. So we are going to need a power pole, I'm assuming split the power to these guys right here. I wonder if that's going to be able to reach. Let's see. Power line. You to 
Is that too far? That looks to be way too far. Yeah. I'm not so sure about that. Either way, let's just uh, hook up both these guys to this power line there. And then... Do we need to get another power pole? Is that how this works? So we hook up you to you. And then you to... No. Oh, you know what? The reason is because... Oh, bloody hell. That's because I've got these guys hooked up to... God dang it. Alright, hold on. I don't need this one at all. Wait, do I? Mmm, this is sketchy. It's because... Right, hold on. This power pole can go away for right now. Yeah. I need a power pole right here. That's gonna work with all three of these guys. So, let's take you down for the time being. That's gonna kill production, but I'm fine with that. Let's remove you as well, too. And now, with this cable here, that's gonna go to this power line. And then that's gonna go to you. That's gonna go to you. There we go. And then that is going to go to you. There we go. That should have these guys powered, which they are. And it looks like they're working good. Configuring. I missed the animation, my bad. I was getting too eager. They're still doing all this junk. Look at that up there, man. All right, are you working now? Yes, you are. Iron ore production. So that's five. That's the output. Got it. Now we need to set up the conveyor belts. Oh, how fun. We've got plenty of those. So my question is, how far can this extend? It looks like... Yeah, we're going to need a few of these guys right here, the conveyor poles, right? At least I'm assuming. So if I was to put down a conveyor pole, like, right here, for example. There we go. And we put you to the pole, just like that. Oh, that's so sick. I love it. 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 Now, ooh. I'm going to have to move this. Equipment workshop, you're going goodbye. I... We'll find another place for you, but for right now, that is not going to work for me. Let's do... Hmm. Because we could use a conveyor pole right here to make it a little bit more even. But I want to make sure both of these are going to work fine. Uh, let's make it so there's two right next to each other. So the conveyor belts are somewhat close. There we go. So I'll have you going there. And then this conveyor belt can lock on to... Let me up, please. Right over... Oh, shit. That's the wrong way. Nope. I don't want that. No, stop it. Dang it, man. Come on. I'm having so much fun with this, by the way. Oh, I love it. Okay. Up you go. Not... Let's see. Right like that. There we go. How's that look? Good enough for right now. Okay. Now... If we were to have this conveyor belt coming up to... That's not going to work because this is a different material. Can't afford. Ooh, that's going to be lengthy, huh? The iron's on the bottom, right? So the iron... Wait, these are both iron. Wait. Wait, they're both iron. Wait, oh my god, I had the mentality that I was working with copper and iron. They're both iron. Oh, they're both iron. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Uh, there's got to be a way for me to combine both of them, right? Into just one? Because I just need them going into this conveyor belt. Let me see if there's a crossroad or something of the sort. Let's see here. Logistics. Conveyor belt. Transports up to 60 resources per minute. Used to move. And conveyor pole. Uh... You can be used as a connection for conveyor belts. Right. Uh do conveyor poles work this way? Let's find out. Four. So if we have it like right here. Just like that. There we go. And then we have this going to here. And then this going to would that work? I know I can't afford it, because I need a few more- hold on, let me see. Actually, let's be somewhat efficient here. I can save some resources if I attach these at a more convenient cross route. Let's remove 
this one all together and get the iron plates here and then see if this conveyor belt can hook up to this one right here. No. No, it's absolutely not how it works. Even if I get rid of this one? No. No, that's not how it works. Not at all. That's not how it works at all. I kind of figured that would be the case. I don't even need a second one of these, to be honest. But that's double the production. Wait. Oh! Oh, never mind. Why was it not? I don't know. Doesn't matter. It's all good. Hey, everything's fine. Everything's fine. There we go. Hey, is that good? Does that work? It does, right? Yeah, I think so. I think that works. I learned how to use the flashlight, by the way. It's V. So we can see a little bit e more easily in the dark. Yeah. That works. It gets stuck a little bit. Ooh. It gets stuck a lot a bit. Here's me realizing that the production doesn't just suddenly increase when I add more of the, f the fuel or more of the supply. I need to find a way to actually work with it. Maybe this just isn't going to work for right now. Let's just mess around with this singular one, shall we? We can figure out a, a double uh, method at one point. But for right now, I think uh, just having it like this is good. And then you over here. Y'all should both be working, right? Why are you not working? Configure smelter. Four? Because that's copper. Right, of course. Not doing anything. That's just slow. Okay. That unlimited iron? Yes, it is. All right. Well, hey. That's unlimited iron. Easy enough. Let's go do it for copper. Crunch that down. Miner MK1. And how do we want this guy looking? Probably straight out like it was. Just like that. Yeah, that'll look good. Okay. And yeah, the difference with the copper, I guess, is that the iron has enough for two. This one is only big enough for one, which is a downside and probably will be in the future. But for the time being, it's good enough. Now, we need to figure out, I'm because I'm less concerned about getting the conveyor belt there. That's not a problem. Let's see. Actually, we might as well make one of the uh, conveyor poles going like maybe here to keep it neat. Actually, yeah, we could have one going right here, and then we could have another one going, like, right here. Just to make it neat so when it goes there, it'll be great. It'll just look good, I guess. Let's attach, uh, attach the conveyor belts. I've had a long day, by the way. I apologize that my commentary is not in peak form. I hope that if you watch these videos, you're not necessarily looking for the greatest commentary. You're just looking for, like, an enjoyable experience, I guess. And if good commentary is your enjoyable experience, then I guess I'm kind of shit out of luck there. But hey, it's all right. So that's all good to go. I just need to get this guy set up with power. How far can these cables stretch is the question. Because I've got... This guy already has all four, correct? Yeah, that's... That's... That's done. That's good. If we put a power pole down... I don't want this to look bad, that's the thing. But I want it to be attached to that second biofuel burner. Hmm. This is gonna probably not look that good. But if I was to put down- oh, I need more wire anyway, okay. Pray to god this doesn't look terrible. I'm really hoping it doesn't. I'm really hoping it doesn't. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look that bad, but it kinda looks bad. Not terribly, though, but hey. I mean, that's pretty long cable. I like that. This game. I'm, I'm loving it. I don't play many video games, so I do get, like, giddy at the smallest stuff, whereas people who play a lot of video games would probably be like, oh yeah, that's standard, but I'm loving this. It's a good experience, especially with my main game being Ark, and Ark is 
Listen, I don't mind Ark. It's a great game. Okay, listen, I love Ark, but the animations in Ark don't really exist, and the game is also not smooth to play at all. It's very gritty in terms of movement and just everything. Everything's pretty stationary. Fabricators, smithies, they're an item, and they don't move. It's static. This stuff, it's interactive. It's cool. I love it. And, and it, it does have to be, because it's the whole point of the game. It's kind of like saying, okay, I guess it's like saying if Ark's dinos were statues. The point of Ark is dinosaurs, not necessarily smithies and fabricators. So I get that. The main point of this game is the machine. So, all right, I'm not trying to shit on either game, but I, I just, it looks cool. All right. So taking a look at things, we have a, an infinite supply of coal and an infinite supply of iron. The only problem is, uh, well, I mean... We don't have an infinite storage for this stuff. And I guess, I guess it would be very easy to do that. Because these things don't take... Wait, yeah, it'd be incredibly easy. Wait a minute. Hold on, we're about to get dumb with this. Where's organization? Storage container. Wait a minute. Hold on a hot second. You, I want you to be lined up. There you go. I can't afford it, though, because I need more iron plates. Give me a moment. We're about to go dumb brain on this. I hope you're ready to get stupid, because believe me, I am. Number one. Number two. Just need him to line up here. Where's the green? There's the green. Number three. Number four. There might be a better way of doing this, but hey. Who cares? Am I right? I saw the green. Give me the green line. Or are you not going to show me where the green line is anymore? No, there it is. Yep, found it. Five, six, and I think we'll end it off. I mean, we could do another. Like, we could get really dumb, and I think we're going to. All right, fine, screw it. I got enough. I have enough resources. Why the hell not? Where's the green? There's the green. One on you, one on you. Yeah, let's get even more stupid. Why the frick not? If there's some sort of collection thing for this, fine. Hit me up with it, let me know. But at the me in the meantime, I don't care. I don't care. The only thing I do care about is that I don't have enough to make all the conveyor belts. God damn it. Hey, <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. Oh my god. I mean, it's really nothing. It It's nothing. But it's hilarious is what it is. I should have mixed the conveyor belts. Like, I'd one go up here and another one loop around somehow. But, well, there you go. How much is that in total? Because each one of these guys are 24. Holy crap. 24, 48, 72, 96, 100... 20. That's 120, right? I just had to make sure it was that well-rounded of a number. 144, 168. Okay, we have uh, 168 slots, which is, what is that then? 16,800 potential? Let me make sure I have that correct. Oh, I got to conveyor belt these guys as well. Look at me missing up. And is that going to go immediately? Oh, it does. Just going to go to the furthest one off. Nice. Make it sure again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 24, 48, 72, 96, 120, 144, yeah, 144, 168. 168, each one's 100 at a maximum, which I believe is the correct statement. I just want to make sure it's not 200 before I get carried away on that, because I don't believe that it is, but I might be wrong. Yeah, it's 100. Okay. So, yeah. 16,800 iron and 16,800 coal potential. And, or, I keep saying coal. Copper, the other C word, coal or copper. Take your bet. Pick your choice. And all I gotta do is AFK. And the beautiful thing about AFK is I don't need a chair to do it. I don't have hunger. I don't have thirst. I can just sit and do whatever. Especially being up here. There's no opportunity for anything to come and kill me. And it looks like nothing has ever... Nothing's tried to come kill me in the longest time. The only thing I would have to do, aside from AFK, is refuel the biofuel every once in a while. Or biomass, rather which isn't even that big of a deal. I did wanted to take a look at something though while we're looking at fuel, which is over here. Where is it? Hub upgrade. Bio, not biomass, is it tier one? Biofuel utility, yes. Select milestone. 
Biofuel is, or bio, yeah, biofuel is the most energy efficient form of biomass, which requires 150 plates, 150 rods, and 500 wire. Yeah, okay. That's not a lot. Let's go get it. I full came over here expecting to have to hit iron ingot for the crafting and then do the plates and rods, entirely forgetting that the iron is already made for me. It's already cooked. It's already smelted. The whole thing we've been doing for the past episode. Habits are hard to break, huh? I think it's less about forgetting and more just like, oh, I really don't have to do that anymore. My story about this, uh, if I had to put any story together, is, uh, so my house that I bought a year ago in Spokane is from 1948. And it's got some old stuff in it. Some of the rooms are updated, not like flipped. It's not a flipped house, it's just had some updates. But the kitchen is one of the things that has not been updated. I don't think ever, maybe at some point early on it's updated, but it's really not good. It's all very basic appliances of some of them we had to replace. But one thing that we have not replaced is the dishwasher. Dishwasher is still like, it's a turn dial physical like giant buttons there's a another physical button to reset the physical buttons like it's very very basic probably 20 years old around there i don't know how old it really is but i know it's not within the last 15 years anyway we use it a few times and pretty much thought this thing doesn't do anything we would put in like a bowl with some caked on oatmeal on it and uh it would come out with like half of it still on it and Kara and I both thought like, all right, well, this thing doesn't really do much. So with our expectation, we were like, okay, we got to, if we want to do it, we can put it in the dishwasher to lighten, you know, the strength on the caked up foods. So when we scrub it down and actually clean the thing, it's not going to be that hard and it's not as much intensive labor. Makes the job a bit easier. Well, Kara's away right now. And over the last couple of days, I went to the store and let me tell you something. I picked up uh, Cascade platinum the pods rather than this like liquid we had been using that was just in there from when we first bought the house and uh let me tell you something there's no more food all the food that's ever caked on any of those plates gets wiped off immediately we just switched detergents keeping the same damn dishwasher that might be 20 years old and it cleans them perfectly no lime scale no grease nothing bad it's all shiny squeaky clean and it's like this right here i spent all that time doing it but when i actually go and take the dishes out i'm still surprised like oh wait a minute i don't have to wipe anything down i can just put them away this is the same thing i can come over and be like oh shit i don't have to make the iron ingots i can just little mixed in story about my life i felt like sharing with you guys uh while we're doing everything but hey we're about to launch again baby oh i love it so much rods and plates and wire three two one eight. milestone reach you have unlocked several structures aimed to provide the first needed to build basic factory infrastructure additionally the biofuel blueprint will ensure improved fuel consumption of biomass burners and you know that's what we're doing Additionally, you can now build the space elevator, which is integral to your contribution to project assembly. That guy's not going to return for another three minutes. Again, I don't know exactly what the pod is doing right now, or if it is, I'll just for show. I guess I'll find out in two and a half minutes, because I, I didn't read up any comments that mentioned anything about it. But let's take a look here. Is it biofuel? Yes, it is. Okay, so we need four biomass for two bio. Oh, that's insanely easy. What? Yo, stop production. Literally stop halt all production. Everything. Cut it off. Close it down. Shut it down. Call 911. <laughs> is that a weed? I'm calling 911. What I'm curious about though is how much biofuel I can actually hold in this. Cuz it was limited to all oh, that that sound. I got I can't lie to you guys. It is definitely more peaceful when the machines aren't running. Maybe not. Okay, it's kind of like, uh, hey, you know, the engine's not so loud in the car when it stops in the middle of the highway. Maybe. Yeah, true. But uh, I'd still take the volume over the peace of quiet in that stance. I don't know how much biofuel each is going to be able to carry because before I think it was 200 it was limited to. 
Which it might still be the same thing because these are limited to 200 in a stack. Let's take a look here. Uh, we'll split that into 100. So that's 100. And that's 100. And then we'll split you into a stack as well. 70 more, 169, and 169. Very cool. Okay. The graph is showing everything. Capacity, consumption, production. Very nice. We're doing well. That's biofuel. These guys are going. Still looks the same because it's natural, but... That is so many leaves. Realistically. That is so much leaf. Well, hey. Uh... Awesome. Now, I don't know exactly how we can configure the smelter to work with, um... Lime scale. Or, lime scale. <laughs> Limestone. Do I need to scan the limestone in the NAM? Is that how this thing works? Or in the MAM, rather? Oh my god, this is blurred and I thought my vision was going out. The analysis of green power slug is completed. Okay. No. I don't need any of that. Can be harvested and converted into a power shard that functions with current fixit technology. Several buildings would be capable of performing over 100% capacity if infused. The derived blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 1. Welcome back, Pod. How are you doing? Okay, that didn't tell me anything. Uh, Hub Tier 1. Where is that? Overclock production. Overclock buildings. This upgrade uh, unlocks new functionality that lets you overclock your factory buildings. And a power shard. Mucus from the power slugs compressed into a solid crystal-like shard. It radiates a strange power. Oh my, and that doesn't cost a lot. That doesn't cost a lot at all. Well, tell you what, we're going to call this an episode right now. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I know the number one complaint with the series right now is that y'all want to see more. You want to see more, you want to keep seeing more. But let me be honest with you about something, okay? I'm enjoying my pace right now in this game. They're simple, clean-cut episodes. 30 minutes in length and they get a job done. They have an objective and they get the shit done. I will never leave you guys hanging without getting something completed that I set out to do. Unless it's like a multi-part thing. But I'm uploading this shit every day. In 4K quality nonetheless. So when y'all are like, hey Brandon, you're not doing enough. Eventually we'll start getting to the point where I grind a ton off camera and have a load to show you before the episode. But for the time being, we're taking things at a slow rate. And, uh, I'd say we're doing pretty okay for ourselves. This is looking all right. We'll, we'll get to organizing everything, making it look more beautiful eventually, but this is doing, I'd say we're doing pretty well. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Be sure to leave your thoughts on the episode and what we'll be doing next episode down in the comments, because I will be reading it before we start off. But that's it. Thank you for watching. Ciao!